guys, something a little different today. Um, I've been really enjoying the Star Wars Rebels cartoon, and I've picked up the two bigger Lego sets that are out right now. Uh, the full-size Ghost and then the Phantom, which is the little ship that docks in the back of the Ghost. And I've really been enjoying them. Uh, I really love this ship design. Uh, the, car the cartoon's good. It's set about four years before A New Hope, so everything looks familiar. Stormtroopers are Stormtroopers, and uh, Imperial Officers are Imperial Officers. It's just a nice show. Uh, we'll see where it goes, but I really am enjoying it so far, and I really, really love the design of the Ghost. So, uh, when I got the big Lego sets, um, I remember they had done a little micro fighter version for Comic-Con, so I hunted one down. Here it is, it's number 726 of 1000. Yeah, and I gotta say, just the packaging on it is really nice. It's got all the little, it's a, it's a Lego Comic-Con version, and, uh, just a really nice reusable box. It, it's normally sealed here with a, some tape and a little clear sticker over here, uh, which is already open just to show it off. Now I'm going to actually go, since I, I picked up one of the new iPhones, which has an automatically built-in time-lapse feature on it. So I'm going to mess around with that tonight, uh, try it out for the first time, and actually build this. Uh, we're going to time-lapse the, the build part of it, but uh, just to show off this little, this little Lego set, because it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. So in the box, you open it up, and you've got a bag with all... 132 pieces and of course the instruction manual All right, and set that off to the side and we'll open up the bag and uh, we'll see where we go from here wow that's actually it's not a typical lego bag that opens very easily that is a very sealed bag there we go Let's go ahead and put chopper together first chopper is a little astromech droid it is uh his designation is c1-10p which if you write that out looks like the word chop, uh, and that's where his name comes from. So there's his head, here's his body, and then we're just missing his legs here. Here's one. Um, he's kind of the comic relief of the show. He's pretty silly. Let um, me get his other, where's his other leg? There it is. So uh, it does come with the minifigure chopper, um, and there he is right there. I'll put him here, here's all the pieces. And uh, switch this over to the time lapse function and we'll get going. And there is the finished ghost ship there. Uh, it does have the opening in the back. That's where the uh, the Phantom docks in the back of the ship. So it's built without the Phantom integrated into the design. But uh, it's a neat little ship there. Uh, you can see no extra pieces. Uh, they give you uh, some Lego kits will have some uh, you know, extras of some of the small bits. Uh, this one has exactly the number of pieces you need to build the kit. But it's a nice little representation of the ghost. Uh, with the cockpit up here in the front, and the little chopper figure that pilots it like all the other mini fighters have. I mean, there's some neat mini fighters figures coming out, or sets coming out early next year. Oh, I put them in backwards. Ah, that's the problem with plugging them in like that. There we go. Turn them around so he's facing forward. But yeah, it's a neat little ship. It's a fun little build. Um, like I, said, I do recommend the larger sets. The big ghost is really cool. And especially if you get the Phantom with it, so you can uh, have most of the cast of the show. Everybody except for Sabine, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, most of the main cast of the show in those two sets and then the full ship all connected together. But it's, it's a really nicely designed ship. It has shades of Millennium Falcon and other type freighters. But it's a really neat little ship. There's the ghost from Star Wars Rebels. Uh, this is the SDCC uh, exclusive uh, microfighter version of the ghost with the chopper minifig.